So, so one of the one of the most um, explicit ways in which this um, the, this idea of the tyranny of need comes up is: I, I, Are you familiar with this intersectionality? Um, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. In the, in yeah. this cultural thing where where you get a score based on how needy you are, yeah. uh, supposedly, and 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 you know you have a hierarchy of need. Um, where uh, you know you 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 get added scores, but it seems like the the left is obsessed with this idea of need, and uh, and 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 it's so much of both in a cultural and an economic the e cultural and economic agenda is driven by this idea of who is the neediest. Yes, and 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 need. Let let's be clear on what need means. Uh, according to altruism. When altruism says uh, you have more money than your neighbor, you have to help him out. Well, what about your needs? Why, why are your neighbor's needs um, take precedence over yours? There's no way to measure the extent of the need what, because what, there's only one definition that altruism has of need, and that is need is something that requires someone else's sacrifice to fulfill. So if you're able to help yourself, you're an ambitious person, you work hard, you, 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 you put yourself through college, you have a part-time job, you give up partying, you give up all these going to movies and so forth, you dedicate yourself to some goal and you succeed, you become whatever, a professional doctor, lawyer, engineer, whatever, you have not been fulfilling your needs. You've been selfish. You've been just achieving your own happiness. That's not a need that, that, that altruism cares about. Altruism cares about a need that you can't fulfill for yourself, a need that you've abdicated self-responsibility and you say, I don't have money for X, somebody else has to provide it for me. Then you have a need suddenly. Then altruism comes in and the welfare state comes in and says, we will provide for you. So, and need, the, the, the more the need is, which means the more sacrifice required to fulfill it, the more urgent it becomes and the more the state acts in order to um, fulfill it. The, according to altruism, remember, it's not just love thy neighbor, it's love thy enemy. Love people who hate you, love people who want to harm you. The greater the sacrifice on your part, the greater is the demand that altru altruism makes on you. The greater altruism says you must do it because it means so much suffering for you. And if you talk about things like this intersectionality, you talk about the, um, the uh, one of the things that really strikes me as so terribly unjust is what's happening now in athletics where you have transgender athletes competing in sports where you, you have a, a transgender woman, used to be a male, became a woman, uh, competing in, let's, in women's sports, in women's swimming, women's gymnastics, women's fencing. And they obviously have a clear physical advantage. It's the whole purpose behind creating separate athletic forums for men and women in the first place, yet, that is ignored. What, what about the needs of all the athletes who spent years and years perfecting their skills, trying to become champions, becoming you know, a tenth of a second better? What about their needs, which are being crushed by somebody who has clear physical advantages that they're not entitled to in that competition, but because they're transgender, they're allowed to compete. And it's their needs that, that are paramount. Why are the needs of this transgender athlete more important than the needs of all those other athletes who've worked all their lives to achieve what is now being taken away from them? And it's because it's, it, it, it's, it requires a greater sacrifice on their part to give up the goal that they deserve in favor of giving it to someone who does not deserve it. That's what altruism says give up, sacrifice the earned for the unearned, sacrifice the rational to the irrational. That is the essence of altruism. 
Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.